I don't feel paranoid about myself at all, and I don't feel paranoid that she's out there cheating. It's just, there's just a, a few instances that, that things just don't add up. Things just do not add up. I want to spend the rest of my life with this girl, and I don't want to be played. So before I invest any more time with this woman, I want to know for sure if she's cheated on me. Tony and I have been together for roughly three years now. When Tony and I were friends, she had cheated on her previous boyfriends with me. So I can only assume that she might be able to do the same thing with me. The fact that she's, she's lied to me in the past about places that she's been, where she's been, who she's been with, she's just lied to me. I put a spyware app on her phone and every hour it gave a location of where she was. Well, when she had come home, she had told me a story of where she was and it didn't fit where her phone had said that she was. About seven, eight months ago, Tony had left for the evening. She was gone from seven at night to seven in the morning. The car had come home with a busted up tire and the front suspension messed up. She actually had one of her friends cover for her, telling uh, me that she was actually over at her house when in fact she had been over at somebody else's house. So why would she need to cover if there's nothing going on? Why would she have to lie if there's nothing going on? Tony and I are both taking a lie detector test to prove to each other that we haven't cheated on each other. I know from watching the Steve's show that Dan and Steve, they find the truth and they are very good at it. I know that they can help me and that is why I have come to the Steve Wilco show today. You know, he has valid points, you know, I have, um, you know, I have made some mistakes about lying to him exactly about where I've been, but as far as cheating, um, it's never happened, it's never happened. Why do you lie about where you've been? Because <laughs> he didn't like the girl friend that I, whose house I was at, you know, he didn't like, there's a lot of partying that goes on in that house and stuff, and the reason that I had left wasn't, you know, was to was because of another situation that had happened. He, he had actually left that day and was gone all day long. He didn't answer my phone calls. He didn't answer my texts, which is very much unlike him. Um, and then wanted to come yeah, home. he seems like a pretty... Uh, <laughs> six or seven hours later, yeah. okay, and I walk in the door like nothing happened. Where have you been? And I got like... So you oh, think he's cheating too? I... I did, and that and that is what sparked why I left that night because I was I, I was concerned that something had happened to him. How'd you smash up the car? <laughs> that night when we went out, we were driving and um, under the influence or no, not under the influence, but I was. Oh come on! No, it's I, me. I know, but no, I swear to God. I wasn't driving under the influence, but I was driving with a suspended license. Mm, so and, do that. Right. And what'd you hit? The curb. So you say you're, you're not cheating? Steve, no. This man, I met him at a party um, about eight, eight years ago, back in 2006. And you had a boyfriend at the time? Yes, I did. And the minute that his eyes locked mine, like, I just, I knew, I knew that I, I, I was gonna marry this man one day. Um, we became best friends. He had a girlfriend at the time who I ended up actually getting really close to. <laughs> While you were sleeping with him? No, I wasn't <laughs> sleeping with him yet. Not yet. No, 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 no. <laughs> we met at the party. We became very good friends. We were together like all day, every day, okay? Even we were, though while we you had a boyfriend friends. and he had a girlfriend. Yeah, well, after about two weeks of me meeting him, he, him and his girlfriend had broken up but we all still stayed friends, okay? We were best friends. We and spent every day together. And how soon after that did you sleep with them? Not for like nine or 10 months. Ooh, that's a long we took time. A, we took a trip to Chicago and, um, you know, some things had ended up happening, but I love this man more than I've ever loved anyone in my entire life, okay? 
I did cheat. I did cheat in the past. But I not did. A, but not but on I him. cheated with him right. because he's the only person I've ever wanted to be with. I've never ever felt this way about anybody in my life. And, and you I, want to marry him? I do. I do. And I know I made mistakes not telling him the truth about where I was that night, but it was not to be unloyal or to be unfaithful to him. It was not. But you know, he's putting a, a, a GPS tracker on your phone. He did that when we first got together. Oh, right, I mean. And I feel like because of his relationships in the past, I feel like he's, he's he brought not, that in to our relationship. He's thinking you're doing the same thing. Yeah. Um, you hope today that uh, uh, you pass your lie detector test. I know I'm going to pass. And that he, he, this will erase his mind of all suspicions. What if, what if he fails for cheating on you? It'll be over. I have to walk away. I love this woman with all my heart. And I am just so scared about investing any more time without knowing for certain that you haven't done me wrong. I would never do you well, wrong. That's just. I know that I made just, a mistake lying about going to the wrong girlfriend's house. But you know you don't like her. I love this girl, Steve. And I want to spend the rest of my life with her. It seems and like I the, pray that she passes. It seems like the two I of you do. really love each other quite a bit. I, I mean, do. I don't know if I've seen two people on my stage that are so emotional. Uh, I mean, it's because it's true love. You right? It's true love. You guys, I, I, I believe Hi, Steve, this. Steve, I love you, man. Oh, I, I love you, too. I'm sorry, man. I love oh. this guy. Like... So what I'm saying is, I normally don't get two people so emotionally, oh, I love you so much, and, and I can feel it, and I, and I believe it. And I'm like, then what the are you doing here? <laughs> So what I'm saying is, do you really, uh, really want a piece of paper to say you need to go forward in your relationship? Do you need yeah. this? If, if she, she, I know she wants to get married in the worst way. So do I. You do. And and I want to spend my life with this then girl. Then just go get married. And it's. <laughs> What I'm saying, when, you know, me and my wife started dating, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I loved her, right? Yeah. And she loved me. We said, now we're together. And we're living mm -hmm. together. And then one day, we're like, hey, let's get married. Mm -hmm. I didn't say, you know what? I want to administer a polygraph exam for you yeah, before but, uh, yeah, but you we get married. But, but Steve, you probably didn't know her for six years before you I got did. Oh, you I did. I actually did. OK, well, did we you We were know? friends. And she okay, told me well, a, a lot of things. Well, then, but then I realized well, she's the person I want to be with. And, and, and I mean, aren't you and feeling I, the same way? Yes. yes this is the yes, person. But Do you I really know, need but, to give her a lie detector test before you get married? Because I've been played so many times in yeah, the past. Yeah, but not by her. I don't know. I mean, honestly, I don't know. I pray to God, and you I'm so sorry. You ever cheat on her? No, I haven't. Never? Never. Never did Never. anything inappropriate? Never. Okay. Okay. All it's right. Song, I'm okay. Um, oh, these are yours, Tony. Uh, you came here and took a lie detector test because Shane okay. is the man of your dreams. Mm -hmm. And on the condition of getting married, she had to take a lie detector test. <laughs> and we television. asked her, since October of 2011, have you had sexual contact with any men besides Shane? And she said, no. Since October of 2011, have you had sexual intercourse mm -hmm. with any men besides Shane? And she said, no. And the results came back the same to each question. And they came back 
that Tony told the truth. We gave uh, Shane basically the same lie detector test that we gave you, Tony. And we asked him, since October of 2011, have you had sexual intercourse with any females besides Tony? He said no. Since October of 2011, did you engage in any sexual activity with the person Tony suspects? And he said no. And the results for Shane's lie detector test is inconclusive. What? No, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, oh. Tony, Tony. What the Tony. hell? No, man. What the? She, I think she. Does she think she I She doesn't fail? understand. The no, hell no, man. And conclusive doesn't no, mean guilty. Because no, 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 he knows how to beat the... It does not he mean He knows guilty. how to beat the test. Why? No, no, what did you do? I didn't do anything. Come back I didn't do anything. Man. Come back out here, Tony. Jane made a confession so in uh, his pre-interview, and he stated that in October, he went to a bar and met a female who came back to his apartment and gave him oral sex. Oh. He stated... <laughs> That was the night that Tony thinks he cheated. She assumes that. Is that it correct? Was, is she that... assumes, yes, it okay. is correct. She but assumed it's not, that it it's not your ex. At the time. There was another girl. At the time, it was not. No, at the time, her and I, we were not together. We officially did not. We have. She assumed a specific woman, and it wasn't. It was a random girl. It was, it was a random no. girl. We hadn't been official I'm since done. December I'm done. 6th. Please stop. I'm done. Do you we want to go see her? I do. I wasn't trying to this be way, disrespectful right? to you. Oh, you I'm know? not being disrespectful okay, to me. Just... I'm not dating you. <laughs> oh, my God. No, get away from stop. me. Tony, no, Tony, 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 Shane, Tony, Tony, Shane, Tony, I have please, given you please, so please, many opportunities please. to tell me the truth. If you would have told me the truth when I first asked you, this would have been over and it wouldn't even been a part of the show. Why? You Why that did it was you have to wait until you? I was on national television to tell me this? Okay, hold on. How long I, ago was this that, that this happened? This was this was in October. Last before, October? No, 2011. Okay. Before okay. we were ever together. Okay. Before be quiet, we were together. Be quiet. Be quiet. And you no. accuse me? Okay. But I haven't done and anything you since. You accuse me? But I haven't cheated on you since. Since oh, the since, 76, 2000, since, since well, 2011. That's since good. we have been together. That's good. So I'll go marry you because you haven't cheated on me since. I don't know. He he did something. He did something three years ago. I'm not I'm not excusing it, but what I'm saying from that point three years ago until now, you guys have been in love with each other, right? You're living together every day. You're spending your lives together, right? How you I, I I don't know if I've ever seen two people act more crazy about each other than you two. But what you got to think about you got a lot of time invested in this relationship. Whatever decision you make, you're gonna make. But what, this is what we're going to do. If you want to maybe work this out or, or, or not, or maybe take some time apart. And if you want to come back, and when he's off the medication that we can test him properly, we'd love to have you back. I, I, I'm going to leave it at this. You guys have a lot of time invest in each other. You have a lot of high emotions for each other. You both made mistakes. Whether it was cheating or lying, who cares? I truly believe that you really love each other. And I don't know if I'd be, I'm telling you, I wouldn't be so quick to throw all this time away. I I would hate to see a relationship end over this. I don't, I, I think that you two should work it out. But you let us know, you call us and you let us know if you work it out or if you want to come back. Thank you, thank you so much. Good luck to you. Okay. Good luck to you. Do you want to tell your story on the Steve Wilco Show? Visit the link in the description to get my help.